Hey Libra, welcome. This is your full moon reading and it, it is taking place October 9th, 2022. I just want to give you a reminder of the giveaway that's going on this month on my channel. I'm going to pick 12 people, one from each zodiac sign, um, and I am going to offer a free 15 to 20 minute reading whether you pick love, general, or messages from spirit, we're going to see what comes out um, for you guys. So all you need to do for new subscribers, all you need to, for new, I should say new viewers, all you need to do is subscribe and leave a message of your favorite season and why it is your favorite season. And then also um, for my loyal subscribers, just leave me a message of your favorite season and why it's your favorite season, new viewers also let me know that you're new, okay? So 12 people will be receiving a free reading within the month of um, November. So I just ask that you be patient because I got to fit in those 12, you know, those 12 readings during the month of November. It's my birthday month, plus it's my favorite season, so I want to give back for all the support and for everybody being so great to me during my journey on YouTube. Prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. Awesome. And let's see what else. Confidence is key to your success. New moon in Leo. Confidence and prosperity. And of course, I'm going to pick one from my Halloween deck during the month of October. And this one fell completely out. 37. Candy Cane Angel. It's time for a treat. All right. And let's see what's coming towards you during this new moon energy. This new moon energy usually lasts a few weeks after the new moon. So it's what's coming towards you from now until the next full moon. Poverty. So look at this, 37, 37, 10, 10. Where prosperity lies ahead, it might be a time that you might have been feeling, um, you know, just lacking when it comes to finances, lacking when it comes to abundance. For some of you, you may be living paycheck to paycheck, and for other, either for others of you, it might be that you're just getting by. For some, you might not even have enough to cover the bills or your, you know, monthly expenses. But I do feel like that is coming to an end. It's time for a treat, and it's time for prosperity. So for those of you that it resonates, that message, and community thirty nine. 37, 39. There's ever people around you that offer help. It's also a form of manifesting when you accept it. When you accept help from others, it's, you know, it not only is it the happiness that you give to them for allowing them to help you, but it's like you're open to help. You're open to friends. You're open to support. The universe picks up on that energy and will keep supplying that. That's why I always say keep the attitude of gratitude because the universe picks up on that energy and what comes towards you is more blessing. All right, the energy of my Libras. Taking a rest. Four of Needles, taking a break. If you're worried about finances, if you're worried about abundance or, you know, stability, maybe clear your head. Listen to some meditation. Take a walk in the park if you can. But get out. Get grounded with the universe. Listen to your meditation, you know, to connect with your spirit guides. But allow yourself some time to rest. Like I said, anything that may feel like poverty is short term. 
there is abundance coming your way, but it's time for a treat and prosperity. You just have to have the confidence because also it's a time of you nurturing the pe nurturing the connections around you, nurturing the people that always have your back, nurturing the um, relationships that are already existing in your life, people that may feel like home to you. This might be the support of those people, and they you know they come in to help. All right, let's see what just came out. Eight of presence. See, you might be shortly like getting a job offer, um, getting pro a promotion, maybe receiving a bonus, <clears throat> but you're set. You're staying dedicated to the things that you feel you're talented at. You might be working extra hard with the eight of presence. Like I said, poverty is can be very short term. So it's like you're throwing yourself maybe into work or something that you're good at that might bring you abundance down the road. Ten of needles. I feel like these are all things that might have been a setback for you. Might not have turned out your way. It's like you might feel that you're always struggling to get to the top and you're just barely reaching the top. It's always like a near miss. But on the horizon, it's there's something coming your way that's going to feel like your ships are coming in. Whether it be your desires are being met or it's like you're, you're meeting goals that you've set for yourself. Let's see what's after that. The Magician. Something you've manifested. All right, what is the current situation? Seven of Wands. It could be people in your energy that like you may want to go towards something that you feel good at and people in your energy are like, you know what, why are you doing that? Is that going to bring you abundance? No, if you put money into something that may not go anywhere, it might even set you back even more. But I feel what you're moving towards, this treat that you're moving towards, the prosperity that you're moving towards, it's um, you feel like it's worth the fight. So you're going to put the energy in. You're going to put the effort in. And like I said, like a tower moment, everything is going to come together. It's going to become balanced. It's going to become fair. You might even meet somebody along the road that wants to be, you know, right by your side like a team player. It could be a soulmate connection. It could be a love connection. It could be a friend that you acquire during this time. But there is, there is balance just on the horizon. All right, what does Libra need to embrace during this full moon energy? Yeah, embrace the idea that there is a situation that has you feeling stuck. You might be at a pause. Maybe you just recently lost your job. Maybe somebody had left you and had you feeling alone. Or, you know, like you're on the outside looking in. That's an illusion of like self-imprisonment. But during this hangman energy, it's you're looking for the light at the end of the tunnel. You're basically hanging out, waiting to see things like, you know, waiting, working on yourself, waiting to see things from a different perspective waiting for your spirit guides, the universe, to show you that light at the end of the tunnel so you have that guidance. But this is also when the light bulb goes off and ideas start rolling in. And then there's that equal give and take. Somebody might come right towards you and say, you know what, I see you struggling. This is more of a gift. You could call it a loan, but there is no rush to pay it back, but I want to help you out. This might be the energy of you paying it forward in the past. And now, you know, it's being paid back to you. You holding out, maybe staying in, becoming a little bit of solitude um, so that you can work on your finances, save. All right, let's see. And what does Libra need to let go of during this new moon energy?
Eight of Candles. So there is something progressively moving forward. This could be communication coming in, but this is something progressively moving forward for you. Second fastest moving energy of the deck. See, you are moving towards peace and harmony. And the, it, the, the um, Six of Needles, you're traveling towards peace and harmony in your life. You're leaving the rough waters behind. Basically, Spirit is saying, have faith. You're protected. You're guided. Have that confidence because confidence is the key to success. You may have Leo in your chart. You could have Taurus in your chart. But there's something on the horizon that's going to be a treat for you. Something you definitely manifested. All right, let's see. Let's get additional clarity. All right. Please clarify the four of needles. Please clarify the four of needles as being Libra's energy during this full moon. Yeah, see? You are going to take a break. You may even decide to take a short vacation. You know, just get away from everything. Get away from what's, you know, holding you back. What thoughts are holding you back. You could be traveling towards someone. But this is your energy, like leaving your issues and your obstacles behind. And determined to find peace and harmony in your life. Why is the Eight of Presence here? Why is the Eight of Presence? See? Something that you're dedicated towards, something that you're putting the work and the effort in is going to feel like your ships are coming in. The Three of Wands. It's a brand new beginning is on the horizon for you. Brand new beginning. An abundant new beginning. Look at this. An abundant offer is coming your way. Something that you can trust. Something that's going to be a success. Something that is faded. So get ready. Whether you're ready or not, it's coming towards you. There is going to be a change in your energy. Why is the seven of candles here, Spirit? Seven, seven. See, Libra? The effort that you've put into your journey, the effort that put you, that you put into your relationships, um, you know, into your career, into your stability, there's going to be growth there. You've planted the seeds, you put in the effort, you were ready for the fight, and now something is coming to fruition. And with the moon here, I have, I have. Got to tell you, I think something is traveling very quickly to you. Like it's just coming to light. You don't know it's on your way. It's on its way to you. It could be something, like I said, that might have ghosted you. Something that might have ended that let you feel left you feeling alone. But I feel like something is definitely coming towards you. That's going to leave you very happy. Why is the Eight of Needles here? Why is the Eight of Needles here? We have Seven, Seven, and we have Eight, Eight. See? You feeling um, stuck or you feeling alone? Maybe you feeling in poverty because you feel abandoned or ghosted. It's an illusion. There are people around you that want to be right by your side. There are people that want to support you. I really feel like there might be an offer for some of you when it comes to your career or comes to employment. There's going to be an offer given to you. And why is the Eight of Candles here? What is coming towards Libra quickly? What is coming towards Libra? See what I mean? It very well could be um, money, a windfall of money that you do not expect. 
It could be support from your family or from your friends. But I do feel like for some of you, it may be a connection. It may be that you find your team player that you're meant to be with in the very near future. And it's like two people just mesh together. It could be a meshing of families. You could have children. They could. It looks like a, um, a golden retriever or a yellow lab. But it's like where you feel alone, there's something coming towards you very shortly. And why is the Six of Swords here to us, Spirit? Yeah, you're going to take a leap of faith. There's better, there's better memories to be made ahead. I got to tell you, so where there's going to be stability, there's going to be happiness. There's going to be harmony restored. It's going to feel like your truest desires or the goals that you've set, something is taking place and coming towards you. And you're taking a leap of faith right towards it. And look at the two, three cards at the bottom again. Libra, look at this. This is definitely something something big coming your way. The Ace of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune. Brand new beginning is coming towards you. Whether you're ready for it or not, it's faded and it's being delivered right towards you. So, happy birthday again. If you're feeling down, there's definitely something on the horizon. Just remember to have the confidence. Be in that empress mood because prosperity lies ahead. There is definitely a change in energy for you very shortly. All right. I wish you the best birthday month and I will be back for many more readings. Stay safe.